Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick uh, video about how to overlay concentration data into Atlas Viewer. Uh, first, uh, I do have Homer 2 and Atlas Viewer open uh, in MATLAB. I do want to show you where Atlas Viewer is hiding away. If you go into your Homer 2 folder, uh, go to Packages and Atlas Viewer, you will find an atlasviewer.m file, which is actually what I'm going to run to open up the uh, GUI. So first, I will go ahead and run Homer. It's going to ask which file I want to pull. I will actually be using one from earlier today, in fact. It was on my head. It's no specific experiment, but it does have two triggers built in it. So I have a .nears file hidden away into this folder. Uh, next, it will ask me uh, which uh, processing pipeline to use. And I think it's actually, yes, it's already got a default one loaded in that I've put together. Uh, disregard the values here. However, uh, do note this last function. Uh, this is the deconvolve hrf function, which will uh, actually build a model and extract betas. Uh, you will need that in order to overlay concentration data. Um, I'll go ahead and just view two channels here. There you go. You can also see my two triggers. And I'll go ahead and run it. You will need to run it to the group level. Uh, running it to the group level will actually output a group results.mat. And if I go to save group results, You'll actually see I already have it saved, but I'll go ahead and replace it. Yes. Uh, from there, I have everything I need. So I'll go ahead and go to my Atlas Viewer, open that up, and you'll see I'll just hit Run, and here we go. So it did already load my file in. It's the same exact file I just did, and you'll also see my points here. If I go to Tools, I can register Atlas to Dig Points. If you don't see this, there's a good chance that your digitized points are not in the format that Atlas Viewer wants. Uh, if, if that's the case, go ahead and resort to the Atlasphere paper. And there's likely a uh, conversion format uh, file that will help you with that. So I'll go ahead and register. And there we go. I can also click this 3D cube and rotate my head. And I can also decrease the opacity of the actual scalp surface. Make sure that you click register probe to surface, which is clicked right here. That will actually pull the probes in towards the head, and once you do that, you can click HB Concentration Overlay. It will ask you to select the points that you wish to measure. I'm going to do to 24 seconds to ensure that I don't go over my 25 second max. And here we go. Once it's thin, there it is. So you can actually see the concentration data. You'll see I'm looking at HBO concentration here for condition 1. I can also select condition 2. When I click off, it will rerun it. And there is condition 2, slightly different on the left side there. You can also change the scale and do a, several other things along that. One other cool aspect of this is you can actually project the uh, probe to the cortex. Once I do that, I'll click subject optodes. I'll actually pull these into what it assumes to be the proper places on the brain and give you actually the coordinates in the MNI space as well as the label. Uh, that may be pretty useful for a number of, of reasons. Anyway, I do hope that was helpful. Uh, if you, again, if you do have trouble, it's likely due to the, uh, uh, the digitized points that you have. Uh, you may need to alter that. And again, you'll have to reference something else. I'll try to put up a video on what that is later. Uh, but there is some documentation out there already. Uh, I do hope that was helpful.